Ross Ellis battles cyberbullying through her organization Love Our Children USA, and Kristen Moore, former Miss Teen in New Jersey, speaks out about the issue around the country. Uh, good morning to both of you. Good Kristen, morning. we should also mention you work for this organization as well. Um, Ross, let me start with you. The problem of cyberbullying, is it getting worse every day? It is getting worse. It's reached epidemic proportions, and kids just don't understand that it's not okay to do it, and they don't understand the consequences of how very harmful it is to other kids. Kristen, we should mention here, uh, former Miss Teen New Jersey, mm -hmm. uh, obviously a beautiful young woman, but you suffered from okay. cyberbullying yourself. When did it start, and what did it do to you? It started about my sixth and seventh grade years in middle school, and it completely diminished my self-esteem. I came home crying every single day, and I felt as if I had no one to turn to. And luckily, in 2006, I found Ross, and teamed up with her and got my self-confidence back that way. Did you have these same thoughts that some of these kids have? I mean, because clearly, I mean, it's an awful situation in many of these cases. Thankfully, no, I never did. Um, although a lot of kids do every day. I had my parents who were my biggest advocates throughout the entire thing and they stood beside me and gave me the strength to carry through and make sure that I never had those thoughts. How much worse was it when they could go online and say these things anonymously? When it's anonymous, you don't have any idea who's behind that computer screen, so it's hard to get to the heart of who that bully is. So it's a false sense of identity, a false sense of security that you don't know who's talking to you and you think they're your friends. Ross, let's talk about some of the things that parents can do and kids can do to stop this, or at least cut back on the amount that it takes place. We have a few tips here this morning. Uh, the first one is keep communication open. It's essential. You've got to talk to your kids, but you don't go to them and say, are you being bullied or cyber bullied? Have a conversation, go for an ice cream, take a walk, and just say, you know, I heard, that I've been reading about all this cyber bullying going on. Is it going on in your school? Do you know of any friends that it's happening to? And start a conversation that way, because a kid's never going to tell that they're being cyber bullied. Do it in subtle ways. Right. I found this next tip interesting. Set up online alerts using the child's name. I'm a big advocate for to going into Google. You can set up an alert on Google, type in your name. So if I type in Ross Ellis, mm -hmm. I'm going to get a daily report, and I do get a daily Anytime report. Anytime it shows name. up in newspapers, blogs, Everywhere. wherever else. Everywhere. For your kid as well. Is that prying for the kid? Are no, they feel because, like? not at all, because if there's something horrible being said about your child, you need to take care of it. So I think it's critical that parents do that. Okay. If, if it gets to a certain level, you can eventually take it to the websites and file a complaint. Is that going to get Depending anywhere? Depending on the website. If, if, they have, if the kids have made a website, you've got to go to the host who's hosting the website to take it down. Does it work? Sometimes. Okay. What about law enforcement? When law do they get enforcement, if, it's th if, if a child is being threatened, if they're really being tormented, and if things are really out of hand, that's the time to go to the police and file a report. And many times, people, parents hire lawyers. And we certainly hope it doesn't yeah. get that far. Well, Kristen, to the kids who are out there right now still getting cyberbullied or bullied in general, what, what do you say to them? Don't lose hope. A bully does not define who you are in any which way. You are the only person who can establish what you can accomplish and your goals in life. And just know that be proud of who you are, be proud of what you stand for, and don't let anyone tell you any different. Good advice. Ross, do more laws get passed? Laws are being passed. There's a law in Washington that is sitting in Congress now waiting to be passed, and we're really hopeful that it will be. Not enough states have laws, and we really need them. What will that one do? It will, it will say that if anyone is cyberbullied, threatened, harassed online, there will be conse legal consequences. All right. Ross Ellis, Kristen Moore, thank you both thank very you. much thank this morning. You. Appreciate your time. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.